Let's face it, dealing with people can be tough. They might lie, cheat, and sometimes it feels like they're just out to make life harder. But guess what? Stoicism teaches us that dealing with people, all kinds of people, is part of life's big test. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher king himself, reminds us to be good to people, be patient with them. He believed that interacting with others, understanding them, and working with them is what we're here to do. So what's the game plan for not letting the tough parts of human nature get the best of us? In this episode, we're diving into Stoicism's playbook to not only handle the people around us, but to truly thrive among them. From navigating tricky relationships to staying cool when others are pushing your buttons, these timeless Stoic strategies got you covered. It's not about avoiding the chaos, but learning how to navigate through it with grace and resilience. We're talking practical down-to-earth strategies to not just cope with people's quirks, but to get the most out of your interactions with others. It's fascinating to note that those who embrace Stoicism often lead happier and more fulfilling lives. This ancient philosophy isn't just about handling difficulties, it's about finding joy and satisfaction in the face of life's inevitable ups and downs. If you aspire to be part of this distinguished circle, staying focused on these teachings is key. This journey we're embarking on together isn't just about solving problems. It's about transforming your entire approach to life and unlocking a deeper level of contentment. Now, ready to tackle people problems the stoic way. 1. Care less about people's opinion. Imagine you're standing on a stage, under the bright lights, heart-pounding, as hundreds of eyes are fixed on you. You're about to deliver a speech that you've poured your heart into, a message you believe in deeply. Yet, there's a voice inside your head, nagging, worrying not about the message you're sharing, but how it will be received. Will they like it? Will they admire me? This is the stage of our everyday lives where we often find ourselves performing, craving the applause and approval of an audience we may never meet. This craving leads us into a silent struggle, a tug of war between expressing our true selves and playing to the gallery for nods of approval. It's a conflict Marcus Aurelius touched upon centuries ago, reminding us that seeking posthumous fame or the approval of others is a pursuit detached from our reality and presence. We love ourselves more than other people, but we care about their opinion more than our own," said Marcus Aurelius in his meditations. This statement underlines the irony of our quest for external validation over inner peace and satisfaction. Taking this new path isn't like flipping a switch, it's more like planting a garden. You have to nurture your confidence, water your self-worth, and sometimes weed out negativity. Each day, you'll face moments that test you, but with each test comes a choice. Ask yourself, am I living for others or am I living for me? It's about grounding yourself in what you believe, what you stand for. Two, be honest. Every morning as the sun peeks through your window, there's a promise of a new day, and with it, a reminder. You're going to meet all kinds of people. Yes, even the tricky ones who twist words, and those who find joy in others' troubles. It's like stepping into a maze full of mirrors, reflecting all sorts of characters. But here's the deal. These encounters, they're not there to drag you down. They're your chance to shine, to stand firm in your honesty, like a lighthouse amidst a stormy sea. Being true to yourself and others is your armor. It's not just about dodging the arrows of deceit. It's about not letting those arrows change who you are. Now, you might wonder, why bother being good in a sea of not so good? It's simple. Your goodness, your honesty, it's a beacon. It cuts through the fog of falsehood like a warm, guiding light. 
Imagine the impact of that light, how it might inspire someone lost in the shadows to find their way. Yes, it's tough when it feels like honesty is a rare gem, but remember, gems are valued for their rarity. By choosing to be honest, you're not just protecting your peace. You're setting a standard showing that truth and integrity do have a place in this world. So, let's make honesty one of our strategies. Not because it's easy, but because it's right. It's how we build a life that's not just about surviving the day, but about thriving with purpose. Each honest moment is a step toward a world where we can look each other in the eye and see not just who we are, but who we can be. Together, let's be the architects of that world, one honest word at a time. 3. Don't take things personally. Let's say you're having a rough day. Maybe you spilled coffee on your favorite shirt, missed an important call, or someone just said something that stung a little too much. It's easy to let these moments get under your skin, to feel targeted or upset, but here's a secret from the Stoic playbook. Don't take it personally. You see, everyone has their battles, their distractions, and yes, their off days. When someone lashes out or messes up, it's often more about them than it is about you. Remembering this can be a game changer. Think of a time when you snapped or made a mistake. Were you aiming to hurt someone? Probably not. More likely you were overwhelmed, stressed, or just not thinking straight. We've all been there. It's human. By acknowledging our own imperfections, we unlock the door to empathy. Instead of reacting with frustration or anger when others falter, we can choose understanding. This doesn't just ease the tension, it builds bridges. The next time you're on the receiving end of a rude comment or a friend's mistake, pause. Take a breath. Ask yourself, have I ever been in their shoes? Chances are you have. This perspective shift isn't just about giving others a break. It's about enriching your own peace of mind. It helps you stay centered, calm, and most importantly, connected to those around you. Embracing this stoic strategy isn't about dismissing your feelings, but about choosing a path of growth and empathy. And that, my friends, is how you become more valued, not just by others, but by yourself. 4. Be patient. Patience isn't just waiting around. It's an art, a silent force that makes us stand out. Think about it. Every day we're thrown into this whirlwind of chaos where everyone's rushing, cutting corners, or just trying to get ahead, often without thinking about the consequences. It's easy to get caught up in that, to lose our cool, to forget who we are and what we stand for. But here's where the magic of patience comes in. By choosing patience, we're not just reacting, we're taking control. We're observing, understanding, and then acting in a way that aligns with our core values. It's like being the calm eye of the storm, where everything else is just wild and unpredictable. The question now is, why does this matter? In a world that values the quick fix, the fast response, being patient sets you apart like a lighthouse in a foggy night. It's a clear signal of your strength, your integrity, and most importantly, your understanding that good things, real progress, takes time. This isn't about letting people walk all over you. Far from it. It's about knowing your path, your worth, and having the inner strength to stick to it even when everything else is in fast forward. It's about giving situations and people the time they need to reveal their true colors, which, in turn, lets you make decisions that are right. Not just right now, but for the future, too. How do we start? Begin with yourself. Next time you're in a rush, or someone cuts you off in traffic, or a friend takes too long to get to the point, take a breath. Remind yourself that this moment is your chance to practice patience, to be that stoic force in a world that's constantly trying to push your buttons. 
Remember, it's in these small, everyday moments that we build the foundations of a character that's not just admired, but truly valued. Patience is your secret weapon, your quiet strength that speaks volumes about who you are and the incredible impact you can have on the world around you. Let's embrace it, let's master it, and let's show the world the power of being patiently powerful. 5. Be an example. Take for example, you're walking down the street minding your own business when suddenly you see someone help an elderly person with their groceries. Without a word, they've shared a powerful message. That's the heart of Stoicism, action over words. It's about being that person who, through simple acts, lights a spark in others. It's not about shouting your beliefs from the rooftops. It's about living them so clearly that others can't help but notice and feel inspired to do the same. Think of it as a ripple effect. Your actions can inspire those around you to spread kindness and wisdom just by being a living example of the virtues you believe in. In our day and age, with the world buzzing with distractions, being that example is more important than ever. It's easy to get lost in the noise to follow the crowd. But imagine the impact of choosing to be a beacon of positivity and strength. By embodying the principles of Stoicism, you're not just improving your own life, you're lighting the way for others. Every choice to remain calm in the face of adversity to show kindness where others might not, adds value not just to your life, but to the community around you. So, what's the first step? It begins with the small choices. Choose to listen more than you speak, to show gratitude even for the little things, and to tackle challenges with a calm and steady heart. Remember, being a Stoic isn't about perfection, it's about progress. Each step you take towards living out your values is a step towards becoming a more valued member of your circle, inspiring others to strive for their best selves too. And in doing so, you'll find a deeper happiness, not from external accolades, but from seeing the positive change you've ignited in the world around you. 6. Tune out the haters. Let's dive straight into something that hits close to home for many of us. The noise, the negativity, and yes, the haters. You know what I'm talking about. Those voices, sometimes loud, sometimes a whisper, telling you you're not good enough, you can't do this, you won't make it. But here's a secret from the Stoics that's as powerful today as it was centuries ago. Tune them out. Imagine wearing an invisible shield letting all that negativity bounce off. Why? Because what truly matters is what you do, your actions, your choices. It's like walking your path with earbuds in, listening to your favorite tune, focused and unfazed by the chaos around you. It's a bit like Cicero's joke about Cato living as if he was inside Plato's Republic rather than in the dregs of Romulus. Cato didn't let the corruption and hopelessness of his times dictate his actions. Instead, he focused on what was right, ignoring the external turmoil. Think about it. When everything around you seems to be falling apart, when hope feels like a distant memory, that's the moment to anchor yourself in what's right. It's not about ignoring the world's problems or pretending they don't exist. It's about recognizing what's within your control, your integrity, your actions, your response to adversity. Marcus Aurelius nailed it when he said, just that you do the right thing, the rest doesn't matter. This isn't about being indifferent. It's about being focused, focused on being the best version of yourself, regardless of the storm raging around you. To effectively implement these Stoic strategies, we must keep this crucial step in mind to tune out the haters. Not with arrogance or ignorance, but with a profound understanding that your value, your worth, 
isn't determined by the external chaos or the opinions of others. It's determined by your actions, your choices, your commitment to doing what's right, even when it's hard. This is what it means to live like a Stoic in the 21st century, to be more valued, not for the applause or the approval, but for the quality of your character and the actions that speak louder than any words ever could. Let's keep moving forward, tuning out the haters and focusing on what truly matters. 7. Be full of love. Did you ever notice how some people just seem to light up a room when they walk in? It's like they carry this vibe, this energy that's hard to ignore. That's what being full of love is all about. It's not about waiting for someone to notice you, to give you that nod of approval. It's about being that person who notices others, who spreads positivity just by being themselves. Imagine if we all did that, if we all chose to be sources of kindness and support, the kind of impact that would have. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, once highlighted the importance of doing good to feel good. It's simple, yet so powerful, by putting love out there, by genuinely caring for others, you create a ripple effect. You become that person everyone wants to be around, not because you're seeking attention, but because you're giving something invaluable, your affection, your time, your understanding. Now, let's get real. Life isn't always sunshine and rainbows. We face challenges, we get knocked down, and sometimes it feels easier to close off than to open up. But here's where the magic of Stoicism kicks in. It teaches us resilience, the strength to bounce back with even more love and compassion. It's like Seneca said, every person we meet is an opportunity to practice kindness. So when you're feeling low, when the world seems against you, that's the moment to lean in, to be even more generous with your love. It's not about ignoring your feelings, but channeling them into positive actions that uplift not just you, but those around you. This strategy, being full of love, is not just about making others feel valued. It's about enriching your own life too. It's about building connections, about feeling a part of something bigger than yourself. When you put love out into the world, it has a way of coming back to you, often when you least expect it, but need it the most. So, take a page out of the Stoic playbook. Choose to be a beacon of love and kindness. You'll be amazed at how much more valued you'll feel by others and, most importantly, by yourself. It's a journey worth taking, a path that leads to a more fulfilled, more connected life. And you don't have to wait. You can start that journey today. Talking about love, why not spread the love? Hit that like button and share this with someone who could use a gentle reminder today. Let's keep the cycle of love and appreciation going. 8. Stop comparing yourself to others. Imagine you're scrolling through your phone, jumping from one profile to another, seeing snapshots of lives that seem perfect. This is where we need to hit pause. Theodore Roosevelt once said, Comparison is the thief of joy, and he's spot on. When you compare your behind the scenes to someone else's highlight reel, you're setting yourself up for a fall. It's like you're running a race, but instead of looking ahead, you're looking sideways. Not only does it slow you down, but you also risk tripping over your own feet. Remember, the only person you should try to be better than is the person you were yesterday. With Marcus Aurelius's wisdom as a guide, let's dig a bit deeper. He challenges us to question the folly of envy. Why crave someone else's life without understanding their struggles? It's easy to envy the CEO for their success, forgetting the sacrifices they made to get there. Flip the script and consider this. If you were to suddenly lose everything and become someone else, you might just find yourself envying the life you have now. This perspective shift is a powerful tool. It's not about having the best of everything, but making the best of everything you have. 
Epicurus, as mentioned by Seneca, brings it home with this thought. Enough will never be enough for the person to whom enough is too little. Contentment isn't about settling for less. It's about appreciating what's already yours. In a world constantly urging us to want more, this stoic principle invites us to cherish the here and now. So take a moment to look around and within. You'll find value not in comparison, but in gratitude and self-appreciation. As you journey through life, let this be your guide. Value yourself, not by how you stack up against others, but by how you nurture and grow your own unique path. 9. Cherish your loved ones. Have you ever put off a phone call or a message to someone thinking, I'll do it tomorrow, only to realize that tomorrow never comes for some? That's a hard lesson many of us learn the hard way. Stoicism, a philosophy as old as the hills, but as relevant as your latest social media update, teaches us a crucial principle. Memento mori, remember you will die. But it's not just about remembering our own mortality. It's about understanding that everyone we hold dear is on borrowed time as well. Imagine if we lived every day as if it was our last chance to tell someone we love them, appreciate them, or forgive them. How much more meaningful would our relationships be? Take a moment to recall the last time you spoke with a person close to your heart. Did you part on good terms, or were there harsh words left hanging in the air? Stoicism nudges us gently but firmly. Don't go to bed angry. Life is incredibly fleeting. One minute you're planning a weekend catch-up. The next, you're wishing you had one more moment to say what really mattered. This isn't about living in fear. It's about living with intention. Cherishing your loved ones means making the most of the now. Forgiving quickly, loving fiercely, and never missing a chance to express how much they mean to you. So, rather than getting lost in the chaos of our daily lives, let's take a second to think about who adds color to our lives. Let them know they're valued, not tomorrow, but today. Whether it's a simple text, a long overdue call, or a tight hug, make it count. Remember, in the grand tapestry of life, these moments of connection are what truly matter. Let's not wait for a stark reminder of our mortality to start appreciating the ones who matter most. Memento mori, yes, but let that also inspire us to live and love more fully with every breath we take. Wrapping up our journey through stoic wisdom, especially when it comes to navigating the choppy waters of human relationships, remember the strength lies in your perspective and actions. If today's insights from Marcus Aurelius and the realm of Stoicism have given you new tools to deal with people more effectively, why not mark this moment? Hit that like button to acknowledge the growth you're committing to. And if you know someone wrestling with similar challenges, sharing this could be the nudge they need. Let's solidify our learning today. Drop a comment saying, I am growing daily as a testament to your commitment to personal development and navigating relationships with grace and stoic calm. It's a simple affirmation, but powerful in its intent. Here's to growth, understanding and solving problems with a little more wisdom and a lot less friction. Thanks for watching and see you soon, fellow stoic.